Hi everyone, Chris here. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and that you're getting some of this beautiful sunshine that we've got at the moment in London where you are. Today I want to talk to you about expected value. In this quick video I'm going to give you an overview of what it is and how you work it out and then in terms of how you actually use it within your match betting I'm going to show you that in later videos on a sort of case by case basis. But before I do that I think it's useful to have an overview of what it is and a small summary that you can refer back to when you want to. So expected value is as the name suggests. It's the value that you expect to come from a free bet or an offer that you complete. You can have a positive expected value which means you're expecting to make money over time or you can have a negative expected value which means that over time you will lose money. As you start to get into more intermediate and advanced match betting offers you'll be using expected value as one of the ways that you make money in the longer term consistently with match betting. So to calculate expected value it's really simple. You basically multiply the expected chance of something happening by the amount of the free bet or bonus. So let's find the percentage chance of something happening first of all. So for example in this Nigeria-Iceland football match the bookmaker Coral here is giving odds of 2.9 for Nigeria to win. So if we divide 1 by 2.9 times that by 100, that gives us a 34% chance of that event happening. So that's basically saying that if we played this game three times under the exact same conditions, then Nigeria would win one time out of every three times that they played. Say that there was a situation where we got a free bet of £20 if Nigeria won, then what we could do is work out the expected value of that free bet because yeah it's worth £20 but if it's only 34% likely to happen how do we deal with that situation? So to calculate that you would simply divide the 34% by 100 again to get it into a decimal and then you multiply that by the free bet amount. So you can see that with a £20 free bet, this would have a value of £6.90. The way that you'll see this typically occurring in horse racing and football matches is a refund if bet. And it tends to be on a variety of different markets that this happens. So for example, a refund if a team gets more than four corners in a match or a refund if a certain player scores the first goal, uh, and so on and so forth. So it's something that isn't guaranteed to happen, but if it has a positive expected value and you make enough matches on it, over time you will become profitable. The second area that we see expected value is in the casino offers. Now, all of the casino offers that we put on Profit Squirrel are either completely risk-free, that is, they're free spins and uh, you lose nothing by giving them a go, or they are positive expected value offers. So, for example, there's this Boyle Sports casino offer here, and on all the casino offers, you don't need to work out the expected value because it's a little complicated and there's a few extra steps to it. We do that for you and we tell you what that is. So this offer here is £3.41 of expected value. So these types of offers are not risk-free because you may complete the offer and not win anything. But over the longer term, if you complete the offer, say, every time it comes up or once a day, you should get a positive expected value of at least £3.41. The bonus on these offers is that sometimes you can win much bigger than that. So you can win up in the hundreds or thousands of pounds as some members have done. But the key is really just to focus on completing offers with positive expected value. That's it for now. I just wanted to give you a high level view of this concept and you may understand it a bit better when we go into specific examples. I'm going to do a video on horse racing refunds and football refunds uh, to really walk you through the steps and you'll see exactly how you use expected value on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. As always, please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Profit Squirrel. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon soon.